Supreme Court has ruled on Trump's claims of immunity in the election case, which is pretty crazy. Wait, where crazy. the fuck is Hassan Things are... at? Is Hassan being held hostage somewhere? What the fuck's going on? Getting pretty crazy out here. Oh, but yeah, eat Samurai, just look it up. Look at Just type in Slaughter to Prevail Nazis, or the, like the lead singer's name, and it'll all come up. I'll be talking about the bad parts of this and maybe the good parts, it. okay? Well, the hey, good you know. hypotheticals. Let's get started. All I gotta do, everybody go check out Lily Lover on Twitter. L-I-L-Y-L-U-V-R-R. -L -L friend of the show. Reed, I know you've been listening to this decision. What, what have we heard? I'm gonna move to the UK one day and her and I are gonna go get a garlic spud together. We have. Well, of course, this is not a thumbs up, thumbs down. This is a complicated decision. We just got it here. It's an Sheldon opinion from Chief Justice John Roberts Young finding Ring? that former presidents are entitled to oh, absolute immunity for official acts, but not nice. for unofficial acts. So what does that translate to? Well, this is something- Yo, also, I want to say right now, Hassan, back the fuck off, okay? I- I, Quinn Blackwell is mine, Hassan, all right? Ever since, like, a week ago when we saw that clip of, of Quinn realizing or, or she was, like, d uh, thirsting over Hassan, okay? Uh, whatever, Hassan, Hassan, Hassan. Hassan has been liking every single one of her posts, okay? Hassan, get the fuck out of here. I'm the one liking her posts. She's going to notice me. Okay, God damn Something it. we saw I that was sort already. of signaled in... Let me tell you, okay? Anything you can massage into the official act category, you can get away with. Like, for example, if, let's say, the current sitting president orders SEAL Team 6, as is in his purview as commander-in-chief, to assassinate his political rival... I remember, I remember seeing that clown in the trailer you showed us. That is technically Listen, under the purview of the presidency. If, for example, the president, sitting president, decides to do a military coup... That's now legal. Let's go, boys. Yeah. Let's have some fun with it. Why? Yeah, like, the f so it's basically what we said. Anything that the president wants to do now, as long as it's an official act, chill. Five no, space. You feel me? Let's go. Let's go, Brandon. What is happening? Dark Brandon time. Send habit to get mode. That's what I'm talking. But then wait, why doesn't why doesn't Biden just overrule it and say this is an official act? I mean, he could talking okay. about dude. Get some freaky. Get freaky with it. Get freaky with it throw all the governors that you don't like in guantanamo bay okay Fuck it literally go into the department of education and wipe out all the records who's gonna stop you you're the president it's an official presidential purview any teacher that decides they don't want to teach the bible kill them do it do the thing Fucking yolo i just saw that in oklahoma it's being like forced to teach the bible in school and if you don't you're gonna get fired mode scotus said iran contra was unprosecutable nixon literally states rights it's so good that states are able to make those decisions for themselves am i right everything nixon did vindicated okay wasn't wrong uh, in essence uh, all of the details as to the allegations made the accusations made in the jack smith indictment of donald trump uh, not all of them but many of them uh, the court is saying we are sending this back to the district court they have to decide whether Trump's communications with the American people, calling them to rally uh, to the Capitol on January 6, uh, and everything that happened after that, uh, the disruption of the counting of the electoral votes, uh, the sham electors scheme, all of that, whether or not that's an official act. I mean, I'm just saying, why wouldn't it be an official act? He he did it with the Department of Justice. Half the shit he did, he, you know, was the president talking to a governor. Literally everything Donald Trump has done in office, things that he was impeached for, like a pay-for-play scheme, holding up congressional funding, congressionally approved funding to Ukraine with threats that if you don't find me blackmail on my political rival, technically that is not illegal. You're the president. You're talking to a foreign official that's like well within your purview. This is entirely presidential, which is so crazy because like as the president, you can still do illegal sh as the president like what the fuck are we talking about that like that's nixon nixon did that right nixon did that donald yeah, trump and they, did and they held him account exactly that's exactly why mixed will post that song that too which is and i remember i never had, i had never listened to those lyrics other than sweet the sweet home alabama chorus but when we were playing hell divers i heard that part that one day and i was like wait a minute <laughs> were they actually talking about the real watergate were there were there actual musicians back then who were like yeah, Watergate's not a big deal. Like, okay. Those would have been the type of people nowadays who would be exiled from music scenes. They wouldn't be allowed to, like, play cool shows.
crazy. And I said this before. <laughs> I said this before when like this was first being brought in front of the Supreme Court. I thought, huh, eh, they'll probably do like some silly carve out right they'll probably try to Damn, do like a silly ass Volker carve out at most they won't give him like immunity as like uh immunity for things that the president can do as the president they won't give him like they won't shelter him from that because that's like broad reaching that's a broad reaching decision and it's completely antithetical to like the founders right and yeah. what this country's fun foundation looks like i mean this so he's is saying what i said is okay. like the idea that the no situation. one is above the law, the idea that we do not want God, King, emperors. Like that was perhaps one of the right only now. American principles that I agree with and that is supposed to be held up in theory, right? This is a direct attack against that. This is a direct attack against that principle. Guys, this is a direct on, attack on. against the founders. I'm not saying that like people are obviously not, a, I'm not saying that people held on to that value. Like I'm sure. Chat, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We got to do something real quick. Hold on. see it? You guys see it right underneath my cable? You guys see it? There's my, 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 my headphone cable right underneath the headphone cable, that little speck. There it is. You know, I gotta play the mosquito. Hold on, we gotta play a, a special song for that. That's right, I just carpet bombed, carpet bombed an innocent. Mosquito civilian? Damn. Official act though. Yeah, man, I went out to the movies, right? Ah, shit. And I was uh I was standing up. God damn, these motherfucking mosquitoes, man. Hold on. Ah shit, man. You got one on your motherfucking Never mind. So I'm about to go in the house, these motherfuckers all on my motherfucking head. Damn, dog. Ace Brick and them keys and them kicks. I was chilling outside eating Cheetos. Oh. Chilling with my nigga, we was sipping on some Tito's. Mm. Trying to figure out how we was about to get some free codes. Hello. Next thing you know, we got jumped by some mosquitoes. One was on my arm, one was on my leg. God damn. Two was on my ear, three was on my head. My bro said, Damn, bro, you turning red. I, I killed four, they came back. I thought they I'm was not. dead. I slapped one, it came back and bit up my neck. Bitch. On top of that, it was hot. I'm starting to sweat. Woo. It was a hundred of them bitches. I'm fighting. The set. I'm about to start shooting these bitches, bro. Give me the tech. I had a bump on my nose that was big as hell. I had a bump on my arm that was big as well. Even a bump on my eye, you couldn't even tell. So many bumps, goddamn, I just wanna yell. I ain't even gonna lie, them bitches caught me slipping. Slid up on me real quick and just got the tripping. Bro took off on me, just got the dipping. I started throwing off my clothes, just got the stripping. I was up all night the way I was itching. I was looking like Smokey the way I was twitching. Whole fam laughing at me. The way I was bitching, they came outside in a week. They thought I was missing. I just got beat up by some mosquitoes. Got my ass lit up by some mosquitoes. Got my ass hit up by some mosquitoes. Goddamn, I ain't fucking with mosquitoes. I just got 
got bit up by some mosquitoes. Got my ass lit up by some mosquitoes. Got my ass hit up by some mosquitoes. God damn, I ain't fucking with mosquitoes, bitch. Killed that shit. Oh, dude, it's just so dead right here. Let's just look again. Dead ass bitch. Detroit! I know you fucking lying. It looks like they got these fucking letters from Toys R Us, bro. All right, back to the video. Sorry, I had to deal with that really quickly. Yes, of course, in the United States of America, many people are above the law, but now? never officially, right? Go, like, go never on. to this degree. So, it is uh, really damning. This is a really damning decision, especially a president being like, yeah, no, actually, we've decided that presidents can do whatever the f*** they want. We've decided presidents are above the law. Like, that's it's pretty got on American, you know? What's most significant about that is the, the, the exactly U.S. Supreme Court. Exactly what I said. It's like, the, like, anybody that's a constitutionalist that, like, believes in democracy freedom like you should be so against this would have said we're remanding this to the district courts the lower court and whatever they say goes and we will and we will uphold that they didn't say that exactly to the contrary this case will not go before the election it will not be tried before the election and here's why supreme court has just said there is such thing as criminal immunity the test as we anticipated is essentially official acts versus unofficial acts we're sending it back to the district court and, and this is an important detail, the court says several times, whatever the district court finds can be appealed before trial. Jack Smith had made an argument of, well, maybe the district judge, the trial judge can work it out and send it to the jury. And then the jury can separate official from unofficial acts. Several times in this opinion, the Supreme Court, the majority says explicitly, whatever the judge decides about what's official or unofficial, what's immune or not immune, that can be appealed back up. Zero percent chance that happens before November. So why? I like that we have the distinction now, which is like official crimes versus unofficial yeah, crimes. Yeah, that's crazy. If he steals a f candy bar, like that's prosecutable, right? But as president, if he sends the SEAL Team Six to go and uh, I don't know, steal all the candy bars from the factory directly, then it's like, well, technically, that's he's authorized to do that. So it's like within the official scope of the presidency. They literally just said like fascism is cool. Like, that's chill. Whatever you want to do. As long as you say it's an official act. Or at least something that you can defend. That's like, that's some shit that, like, Hitler had to, like, fight for, you know? Like, he had to, like, be like, this is my place now. I'm the leader, and now I'm going to make this rule. But we just have a Supreme Court that just, like, is like, oh, no, you're allowed to do that if you want. And on that on that idea that's wild now. i saw a reporter tweet earlier basically saying that after this if trump wins he's going to start every sentence with as an official act he will say it 100 times a day to do anything he wants yeah i mean it's pretty it's pretty fucked up does this mean that a president could never be prosecuted for war crimes i yeah. mean no president was ever going to be prosecuted exactly. for war crimes it was never going to happen but this is officially saying n no definitely not anyway but this is definitely official yes yeah. at least not by <laughs> exactly. the american courts surely calling the georgia call does anybody else see it i don't know if it's shows up on your guys' end but every once in a while my desktop will like flash in the background you'll see all my icons do you guys notice that or is that just like on my monitor calling the georgia governor to ask for votes is unofficial uh no that's the president who maybe genuinely was afraid that there was voter fraud happening and wanted the f georgia governor to investigate and find 11,746 votes before today you could say that that is illegal and ridiculous and what the f are you doing except after today well he did it in a presidential manner so who's to say it's illegal it's great i do that i mean if they are saying hey just to clarify for anybody that is confused like voter fraud does happen but it's like on the like point zero 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 like one percent like it never happens and it, it like when it does, it's so insignificant that it would never like turn an election. Uh, even like like any even Republican governors, senators, things like that. Who it's the governors who do this, but even the Republican governors who have investigated voter fraud and regularly investigate that stuff in their states will tell you like it's not an issue. It's not something that actually happens. Uh, and when it did happen. This la these last elections for Trump, the voter fraud was done by Trump voters. 
one of them being a doctor in my state of Nevada who voted for his dead wife. Or Trump. Hey, we're the U.S. Supreme Court and we're going to have the final say on this no matter what. Why not just make it clear? Everything's delineated in uh, the indictment. Why not just make it clear? And if Judge Chutkin decides X, Y, or Z, we will agree with that. Why not just be explicit? Because they, the Supreme Court, they're in a court of appeals. They, they want to see a record, right? And I think, you know, with, the, with Judge Chutkin just kind of... Bro, this guy looks like the sheer version of the general that they have all the time. What was it, McMaster or whatever? You guys can't find another type of guy? What's happening? He looks exactly like that fucking general, dude. General Thumb Man. It's, it's, you, either, you either become a general or a cop looking like this. Dismissing Sorry. out of hand. That's, that's so irrelevant to the... All criminal, all conduct whatsoever. <laughs> the prison has no immunity for all criminal conduct, for any criminal conduct. They've gone back and said, no, no, you need to go look at this. And then come back to us based upon what we've said in this opinion. And the other right? thing is, well, it, it's um, the right and rules governing when and how to appeal aren't set in stone or aren't entirely clear. And I think they felt lawyer. some need to delineate <laughs> that this is an appealable order. They aren't always. And sometimes some things you have to wait to appeal until the end of a trial they're giving uh uh whoever it is and probably trump the opportunity to appeal during trial well let me ask you do you think that if Ch judge chutkin had ruled differently initially and said it, it basically closer to this uh the conversations with the justice department are clearly official acts i'm not going to count them but the other one like if there had been a uh, less of a bro like the conversation with the justice department or official acts is so crazy like that even that in and of itself literally means that you can legally do a coup or illegally do a coup and if it works then that's great if it doesn't work it's still not prosecutable because you did it as the president like that is what this uh, maybe i'm misunderstanding this no. but like remember the hypothetical that i brought forward to you guys and then they literally used that early on against the Supreme Court where like I think it was Sotomayor who asked the question to Trump's prosecutors uh, or Trump's uh, uh, lawyers and was like so do you think the president can use SEAL Team 6 to assassinate someone and they said yes under a hypothetical that could be perfectly valid that could be perfectly considered permissible that is literally now after the Supreme Court Hillary Clinton you better watch out <laughs> you better watch out Hillary <laughs> decision like maybe yeah, I'm Seal wrong and I'm just going you. off of like what I read from what Sotomayor he said he was saying was lock her up now it's barrier saying but that kind Six of feels like under, that's what's what allowed now that is like allowed it's valid so to them to everyone listening i say joe send them in baby put a bunch of doorbusters up in this bitch, okay send them to mar-a-lago send them to mar-a-lago oh, send the shit he's saying to assassinate trump oh my god door kickers in the mar-a-lago get it done you feel me Get Hassan it done. had to be in Croatia to be able to say this, because if not, uh, the Secret Service would have been at it. it. Probably went to his house today. It's not illegal. The Supreme Court gave you the opportunity. Don't be a. B That's the only way you're gonna win. Yeah, I mean, he she literally brought this up, which was like a hypothetical, but now not so hypothetical. Sotomayor's dissent: The president of the United States is the most powerful person in the country and possibly the world. When he uses official powers in any way, under the majority's reasoning. He now will be insulated from criminal prosecution, orders the Navy SEAL Team 6 to assassinate a political rival, immune, organize the military coup to hold on to power, immune, take a bribe in exchange for a pardon, immune, 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 immune. Which, by the way, it's ironic because with the exception of like ordering SEAL Team 6 to assassinate a political rival, Trump basically did the other two things. That is the reason why they're having this deliberation that's the reason why the majority uh super majority uh republican supreme court made this decision known the entire reason why this happened was because trump was doing that he tried to do the shittiest coup of all time no military riz whatsoever constantly kept calling the generals gay and well good losers so they didn't do a coup with him but he still tried nonetheless turned into an insurrection yada 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 that's one thing the other thing is he also did quid pro quo with other foreign leaders like he, he straight up did that he also and this is i can't say this with 100 certainty but i'm pretty sure there was a lot of going on with the presidential pardons as well this motherfucker pardoned paul manafort yeah. steve bannon and every other person that was in his like orbit on his like up until the last day of office so <laughs> it's pretty wild and and none of that sh prosecutable because that's like within that's within the purview of the president who is pretty crazy it's pretty wild sh 
dude this is like <laughs> i feel like this is a constitutional crisis but i guess at this point we're so used to it we just don't even think about it we're just like eh whatever you know whatever is that why you're streaming from abroad as an insurance policy so <laughs> trump can't go after you win first of all <laughs> we're, the that. entire world is america's playground if an american president wanted me assassinated they could do so and it would be, and they, easier. It would be easier for them to do it if you're in another country <laughs> they basically could do so before Way easier. but now they definitely can do so it is what it is this is yeah nixon vindicated baby that's right my maoist king richard jebediah nixon vindicated total and utter cultural victory total and other utter legal victory why are we even chirping about this guy he was good he was not bad watergate was awesome we should do more watergates yeah, actually watergate anyway uh we'll get through me. the sotomayor descent in a second let's continue the sweeping of course he can be indicted on any of this stuff uh ruling by judge chutkin uh would, would this not have been uh, ended up where it was today. Did she open? I like that they also were like, hey, by the way, if you do try to continue prosecuting him, you got to bring it back up to us again. And who knows what we'll say next time. You know what I mean? The door for a decision like this. She did. I think Judge Chutkin's going to have a lot of regret. When she issued her opinion, it just said there's no such thing as automatic immunity for everything a president does his whole four years. When I was reading that, I said, okay. And the Supreme Court said, hold up. That's not true, actually. Yeah. We've decided that uh, you're wrong. That's crazy, man. That's a <laughs> like, what are we doing? What the f are we doing here? It's a clown show. Total f clown show hey, where's part b i expected part b to be and i find having reviewed the record and re reviewed the documents and i find that that's even so if crazy there is because like before today like a president was allowed it didn't happen but a president was allowed to be like charged for this stuff like something that they did like theoretically they do something illegal they could be charged for it but even if they're charged and then go to jail they could still be president it's like unless it dealt with like them doing an insurrection but like, like he, his whole thing of him stealing candy bars. Like technically, before today, a president could have been held accountable for that legally. But they and it, say they were found guilty and went to jail, they could still be president. But now you just can't even go after them for that. And the, the, you know the reason they did this is because of that one clause saying, "Oh, if you are found guilty for doing an insurrection, you're fucked." And they were like, "Oh, fuck, that's the one thing that's gonna fuck this election." Because that court case is going to happen. He's going to be found guilty for that. Is such thing that's as literally what happened. He was outside the scope. And by the way, that's what the Court of Appeals did on their ruling. The problem is, as Jim was saying, the Court of Appeals and the Supreme Court, they're not fact finders. This can only be done at the district court level. And so I suspect Judge Chutkin is feeling some regret. It wasn't, know, it wasn't like it was some leap of logic that she should do that. This happens. There are hearings, for example, in the Georgia case, Mark Meadows is trying to get his case. Yeah, made. actually, it's the district court judge's pro, uh, fault. <laughs> yeah, totally. Bro, uh, that's crazy, okay? Like, I'm sure if she crossed her T's and dotted her I's, the, the SCOTUS would have reacted in the same way that they're going to react to uh, to this because God, they man, are this is such a perfect moment for dark brandon to rise up and just start doing shit not a serious legal body they are not actually applying some kind of interpretation that is differing from one another okay they're just literally managing the influence that they have alongside what about if biden just got seal team six together and had him assassinate the supreme court justices he didn't like like that's chill now. Like he can do that. He can do that. It's uh, it's all it's okay. They they themselves said that was fine. The interest that they have, okay? That's why when you're a Republican, you react like and a like, Republican. So like what if he goes and assassinates them and then tomorrow they take a revote? <laughs> would you're a democrat you react like a democrat would like there's some there's some differences you know you have like a little bit of a centrism at least for those institution lovers in the supreme court you know john roberts being one of them now but ultimately yeah this is this was the expected this was the well not to this degree but like some kind of mechanism to defend donald trump to ensure that donald trump's court case is not held before he officially becomes president was the ultimate goal here if the president decides that his rival is a corrupt person and he orders the military or orders someone to assassinate him, is that within his official acts that for which he can get immunity? It would depend on the hypothetical that we can see that could well be an official act. There we go. So Biden, send in SEAL Team 6 and kill 
the Supreme Court justices that voted for this. It's an official act at that point. That was a stunning moment uh, in April. Uh, Literally just say, that guy just said, fascism is chill here. Say, yeah, you can assassinate a political rival. Which we already knew that was true, but like now it's official. No, I don't think they did. That's a ridiculous answer by Donald Trump's team, a dangerous and reckless answer. One really important thing. Why? No, that is what the Supreme Court said, though. What do you mean? Oh, that's a ridiculous and dangerous answer. No, that is literally what the Supreme Court decided. Like, that is what it is. You can consider that to be reckless or dangerous but that is ultimately the case i feel like you know how i've talked a lot about americans in the western world coping with like how much better they are than like eastern traditions and stuff like we orientalize bribery we're like oh pakistan india there's so much bribery there and then we codify it right we codify bribery we make it legal within the boundaries of of federal regulation you know federal regulation right? What do we do? We call it lobbying. Corporate lobbying is legal. It's somehow different than bribery. And I feel like this is, you know, this is a very Russia moment. You know, we talk about like, oh, Vladimir Putin assassinates his political rivals. Like it's really fucked up. And it's like, here we have the American Supreme Court literally saying like, no, it's fine. Like it's illegal, but it's within, uh, it's an official, as long as it's an official act, it's not prosecutable. So how is that any different then? How is that any different? Like we're over here chirping about Russia all day, every day, but we're like, yeah, no, it's actually legal now. Now, so it's different. We're doing it through legal channels. The basis for Donald Trump's legal argument that maybe he can order an assassination and still be okay is this preposterous argument that they offered below that while a president can only be indicted if he's first impeached by the House and convicted by the Senate. The Supreme Court explicitly rejected that argument. They okay. said impeachment has nothing to do with this. It's, that's not the test. Uh, to your question, Jake, someone's got to decide what's the official act, right? right. And that, the challenge here, and this was what Sotomayor was getting at in her point, somebody has to make the call as to whether even the seal, the preposterous... Like, it's just so stupid. You just added another hurdle to clear. Oh, is this an official act, actually? Or is this not an official act, actually? Who gives a f what do you mean that's insane it's just illegal what you you are adding an unnecessary hurdle an additional bar to clear in order to prosecute a former president okay that's ridiculous and they did this with chevron deference too they did this with the with the other de uh, decision now you can't have a regulatory agency act under the boundaries of like uh any of the former acts that, that gave the epa and all these other federal regulatory agencies the power to react which they rarely ever do so anyway but when they did now they can't do that now they're open to litigation like now a court has to come in and decide whether or not they are well they're allowed to do certain things and that in and of itself is also adding another additional layer to the regulatory body's uh, mechanisms it's it's just completely utterly unnecessary and the ultimate goal is to basically allow presidents to do whatever the f they want without any sort of legal scrutiny that's number one and allow uh... corporations to do whatever the f they want without any sort of regulatory scrutiny it's great and this happened this happened in the same week by the way the supreme court is nutty dude they're so i feel like that's it i feel like there's nothing else to learn like there's a good 10 minutes left in this video but insane the only are we gonna learn Michael anything else the summarization the supreme court rules that president trump is absolutely immune, yeah, by like the way this, he's, we're just gonna be repeating like ourselves <laughs> this is pretty this is pretty bad man this is pretty answering for criminal entry eagle is just my dissenting opinion yeah you have President, but let me tell you, okay, you currently are the president. If you're worried about the presidential immunity ruling, good news is that it almost certainly won't apply to them presidents. Oh yeah, no, for sure. Yeah, let's be real. That's that's for you know Republican presidents only. That uh, is. See, I disagree with that because like we've had like we just said like Obama drone strike hospitals. It was never even a question. We've had so many presidents that have done war crimes. Uh, I I don't think it matters because. As we know, whether it's a Democrat president or a Republican, every single one is all, they've all been, whether if it's a Republican, it's usually far right, extremist, conservative. If it's a Democrat, we have a centrist Republican at best. We've ne we don't have any kind of like leftist Democrats as leaders other than Bernie Sanders, you know, maybe AOC and some of the squad. But even AOC and them, it's like, we don't know yet. We, they haven't been around like Bernie Sanders for decades having a voting record that you can look back at and be like, oh, yeah, this, these people stand on business. It's a certainty. Okay, do you think he remembers saying this? <laughs> I do think people like Ilhan Omar, Cory Bush, uh, Rashid Tlaib, the, them, those people in the squad, they, they stand on business. AOC, it's still kind of up in there.
Yeah, good thing it's not politicized, dude. He was so right to not do that. What did I tell you? Here's another Here's another Hasanabi classic. At the time, people would be like, Hassan, but if we expand this- Yeah, I think we're done with that. That's enough. I, I'm ready to play some Elden Ring. Let's look.